Hey, what's up guys? It's Big Smitty 918 here coming at you with another video. And uh, obviously, I'm on a different bike. There's been some uh, recent changes. I sold slash traded the Harley for this Buell 1125R because it's a little bit newer and it only has 8,000 miles on it. So, I mean, it's a huge value difference but um, I mean it sounds good it's got plenty of power as you can tell <laughs> but um, yeah so the Harley's gone I got some cash plus the trade I just got the bike in my name, so I'm posting it for sale as well, because we just got some personal stuff going on right now. Just got a lot on the plate, and uh, we're looking into buying a house soon, and you know, the extra money for a house is, you know, as important as it can be, as much as you can get when it comes to buying a house. So. It is for sale. I'm asking five, but you know, probably do like 45 or so. But, <clears throat> I mean, it's an 08 Buell 1125R, 8,300 miles, which really that's not a lot, like at all, like in reality. Mine was a 07 with like 24, 23,000 miles. And it was road to shit, literally. <laughs> I rode the hell out of that bike. Are you gonna go? Damn. But, <clears throat> but to also include in this video, this will be the last video for, I would say probably some good time it's gonna be a while before I get another bike unless I end up trading this bike for another bike plus more cash or something like that but for as of right now this will be the last video until after we have a house got situated and maybe till you know just things things are just better easier I would say you know it sucks I love riding I mean there's nothing that you know there's, everyone has that thing and riding is my thing but you know it's just life like shit happens you know you need you need money everything costs money now like a ridiculous amount of money so it would just be a lot easier for us to get in you know a nice house with this extra money compared to getting a an older house that needs a lot of work or just needs some work I don't mind doing a little bit of work on a house but if I can spend a little bit more because of the money I have a little extra set back I would do that so I don't have to put as much work and it would just move straight in I don't want to buy a house work on it for a few months and then be able to move in you know what I mean I want it to be a nice house so because we also got you know guardianship of my little brother so that's two more little mouths to feed so I mean it's a lot on the plate it's a lot to take care of kids so I just I gotta do what I gotta do for myself my family and my future and I, that involves selling the bike not having a bike not making videos I mean it's not like I was making money off YouTube anyways but it's still, I mean, I like doing it for the people that do watch. Thank you, everybody that do watch. I appreciate it. And uh, I just almost hit 200 subs <laughs> after all this time. A little over a year now, I believe is what it is. Because I sold the bike, or traded sold, at almost about a year of having the bike. I wasn't making videos yet, but I had it for about a year. And, I mean, that was a big thing to me. I learned everything on that bike. I got that 
thing when it was like bone stock not a single thing done to it put the crash bar the different bars grips risers chain and sprocket conversion kit I mean I put a lot of money into that bike so I mean it's just it's one of those things you know it's kind of hard but I did it for the sacrifice of my family and my future I didn't really have an option I mean I did have an option I'd just be struggling a lot but I mean who wants to stress from struggling when you got two kids like this shit's rough Yeah, this bike is I mean it's pretty immaculate like this this bike runs good I mean it's got tons of power I think it's almost like 150 horse I mean it's basically a thousand the guy got it from I don't know if he'll treat my bike well but obviously he didn't treat his well it took me a little bit before I could even ride it it needed brakes I can't even tell you how bad like I mean you touch the brakes on the front they don't even engage until they hit the grip and even at that point you're still not stopping like it was ridiculous how I'm sorry but he was a really fucked up person he sold he sold slash so traded me a bike that had no brakes front or rear as soon as I hit the rear the rotor it's, it's like metal on metal it's not stopping it and then when we get back from a little bit of a test ride the uh the front fork on the right side was completely just just pouring liquid out i was like okay um like you know we, i drove two hours to him almost and he was like you know trying to make sure we were going to do the deal and i was like as long as there's nothing majorly wrong with it you know like big things like that and he was like no man it's all cool it's all good but yet I get there and it has no fucking brakes and the forks are fucked so and then also on the test ride I was pissed because I said look my only condition is you do not wheelie it because it's not your bike yet it's still mine we're just here to test ride it if you want to see it wheelie I'll wheelie it for you and what do we do as soon as we fucking pull straight out? He wheelies it. I was like, oh my God. And obviously he did it not right. He waited till he was like 25 miles an hour and then popped the clutch acting like he knew, knows what he's doing, which he doesn't. So then we get back from the test ride. He's like, man, it really didn't perform like I wanted it to. I was like, well, you don't know how to do it. You have to go slow, pop that bitch up, and if you want to ride the second, you got to shift in it. Like, it's up to you. Like, you got to have the balls to do it. But he would start at 20, 25 miles an hour and then try to come up, come up and it would only barely come up. Was, obviously, that's not going to work. So I was, I was pretty pissed about that because, you know, I told him, don't willy it. It's not your bike, it's mine. But I really like this bike. I know it has a lot of potential. No, they didn't make a lot of these. It's a 25th anniversary edition. And it only has 8,000 miles on it. And it, it rides like amazing. It's got big dual fans on the front, keep it cooled down. I mean, it's immaculate. And of course, you know, it's been dropped a little bit on the side but obviously they're gonna say that he didn't drop it that the previous owner dropped it obviously that's what they all say I should have told him I've dropped mine multiple times but I have protection on it for a reason so I'm selling it five grand or best offer but uh, obviously I'll take less I'm just you gotta throw it up higher because I, I just really need the money because I've got two kids now and I'm trying to buy a house all at the same time it's really rough so any extra is amazing so uh yeah so pretty much this, this is gonna be the last video guys for a while i want to show you guys the bike I mean, it's pretty clean really it's kind of unique 
and weird all at the same time. It's got a big old front fairing on it, but it kind of fits with the rest of the body. I don't know. Like, you know, I like it because they didn't make a lot of them. And it was originally a, like, Harley Davidson Buell, but I guess they merged away from Harley Davidson, so now they're just a Buell. But, I mean, it's a great bike. Hands down. Hands down, good bike. But I just wanted to take you guys on a little bit of a ride so you can see how it, how it performs. up in first just like it's absolutely nothing I was gonna go that way and I'm gonna go around you <laughs> I was on the hardly I'd ramp this but since I'm trying to sell this right now probably not gonna try to ramp it probably not a very good idea and I had a lot of people Always comment or message me on Instagram asking me if I was selling my uh, my two up seat, and uh, I ended up keeping it when I sold the bike because I knew a lot of people wanted it. So if you guys are interested in that, um, you know, just shoot me a message on Instagram or on here comment and then shoot me a message on Instagram. Then we can maybe get you that seat sold. Obviously, you have to buy it. I didn't make a video, a uh, last video on the Harley. Figured I might as well make it on this one because it's, I mean, kind of a Harley. Oh. But I think this is probably going to about wrap up the video I just wanted to come out and show you guys the new bike I got and uh, show y'all fix it up good runs great and uh, here I'm gonna pull over here and show you guys the bike so when I tell you it's different looking it is very different I mean it's got a pretty big fairing right there but the wheels, it's a really pretty blue to match with the swing arm. Wheels are obviously dirty. And uh, that exhaust though right there, Jardine, I think it's say R25. Look, listen to this. I mean, that sounds good. Tags up to date. And this cover, it just covers over the back seat. You can just take this cover off. It's really weird. But, so your seat's always there, and you can have a cover on it at all times. So if you want to give a little stranger a ride, you don't have to go home, get your seat, switch it for the cow. You can just pop it off, put it in your backpack. Boom, now you got two seats. But, that's going to be about it for this video, guys. I mean, this sucks. This is gonna be the last video for I don't I can't even tell you an estimated date. It's gonna be a while. But you know, maybe if something happens, I end up trading and getting another bike with cash. You never know. So we'll just see what happens. And uh, you know, this is Big Smitty 918 signing off for a while. So uh deuces y'all. Make sure you hit that subscribe for whenever I start making videos again. You know, like, comment, and if you guys are interested in that seat, let me know. Might be able to work a deal with that seat. But, you know, anyways, this is Big Smitty signing off. Deuces.